Hello everybody, Scotty here. Welcome back to another episode of Hot Hangouts. This time we are going to be doing everybody's favorite little griffin, Fawstead. Yes, and I was honestly going to do another, like a, a Fawstead video before, but since PTR uh, changes show that he was going to be going through a little bit of rework, which he has been done quite a few times, I uh, decided to wait. So, um... Without further ado, let's do Falstead. Alrighty, everybody. We are here at Braxis Holdout on the friendly team Kerrigan, Tracer, Rhaegar, Zarya against Uther, Zarya, Nazebo, Lili, and Falstead. <laughs> Frostitution, that's funny. If this had been any other map, well, specifically like a laning map, like Warhead Junction, um, Garden Terror, anything with pretty much three lanes, we would be doing the new talent, Wingman, but I guess it's just going to be traditional Gathering Storm. Now, the way the way Falstead works is on his trait, if he does not take damage for six seconds, his movement speed is increased. For some reason, I thought his talents get his abilities get uh, reduced. I'm going to have to look up patch notes. Anyways, his Q ability is just a straight uh, skill shot which deals damage and slows the enemies by 25%. The W ability is activated on any target within the area and it will keep attacking that target as long as it is alive for the duration of the skill. Your E ability is Barrel Roll, which you've already seen me activate. I'm about to say, that should have hit him. There it is, that's Barrel Roll. It just, it's a quick escape that gives you... It gives you a... Oh, man, Zarya hurts. She really, really hurts. It gives you a shield when you do your escape, too. Uh, I don't want any part of this. Because I really don't like Zarya. If, if you're a DPS, Zarya can be a bit of a nuisance. Oh, he messed up. Yeah, he messed up. He gone, buddy. That was kind of a good bait for Kerrigan there. Let's just get out of there real quick. Alright, on this objective, I always go to the well which is right here the little core and then fly in before objectives like this I don't use my little miniature well I can't compete against that well top got some kills so that's good let's focus Zarya get off me um, Kerrigan, just just keep attacking, baby girl. It's okay. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. Level, yeah, level one. That is your quest ability, where each hero you hit will take damage, and it will increase that damage, and it will keep doing that. Then we just got two stacks off that. So let's quickly go back to the well, because Falstead is kind of squishy, and he runs out of mana fast. Alright, at level 4, um, I typically go with, let's go with Static Shield this time, because we got Zarya to deal with and her shield. Um, I don't want any part of top. That really helped, yeah. If it was auto attack, it would help with my sustain. Um, but I kind of don't want to do that. I probably did. No, I'm not. Uh, group kill? Um, let's... Let's go top. Let's go top and kill this little Lily. Yeah. You didn't expect that, did ya? You didn't expect that, did ya? Watch the zombie. 
Reese gonna be mad about that. Oof. Get out of there, dude. Yeah, he's gonna be mad about that. He should have left. You know better than that. All right, we still have this. We got this. Yeah, we got this. Yes. Oh yeah, good job there, Tracer. Uh, let's get this sippy globe. I always, always try to get some stuff with him. Uh, yeah, we probably are not going to be able to contend this. They're going to be rotating top now. Can we help our Rhaegar out? Yeah, maybe. Tracer's got top. Yeah, let's get let's get Uther out. Yeah, we got Uther. Bye bye Uther. Crap, I gotta be careful. Um, Will is up, so that's a good thing. We are 96%. Uh, um, I'm going to. I got I got ninth your Z. Uh, <clears throat> your mount ability allows you to fly. Can't really do too much. Oh, they got two supports in, and this is pretty darn hard. I gotta get out of there. Not much I can do um, without healing. There's, I'm just so squishy, uh, but this will help. Boomerang. Get this real quick. All we need is four percent. Can we get it? Oh, I think we can, and we got this, no doubt in my mind. And there we go. Good job, team. Good job, team. It's just the four percent. That's all we need is just four percent. Lily should have stayed up top. Okay, we'll just, uh, I'll help defend bot. Because, uh, Falstad is pretty good about clearing waves. And his mobility. To lane. So you can swap lanes, clear, clear out a wave. And once your flight... Once your flight is available again, you can just keep going. Uh, Boomerang, the way this works is, when your hammer... Yeah, when your hammerang goes out... It will allow you to activate your Q again, and it will deal additional damage. Deals quite a bit of damage, too. Uh, how much is left up top? Let's go... Oh, yeah, let's not, let's not go up top. Let's just continue to push bot. Because, um, I mean, all the Zergs are gone now. We, we, can, we can take this down real quick. Uh, we do need to be mindful of the Zarya because as she's doing damage, if we damage her with, with the shield is up, um, yeah. And we almost took her down. If she had hung around any longer. Uh, Alright, they got camps. That's good. I don't want to do this on my own. Let's just fly top. And take out Nazebo, just like that. This is why I love Falstead. He's gone through quite so many changes since his development. Um, but, I mean, I really wish I could have showed you the the laning one. It it works, you know, it's, it's not bad. But, it's, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I don't see much benefit on this map. Uh, Mighty Gust, of course, we can go for Highland Hinder... What is it called? Let's just go ahead and take this... Take this down. Get some more stacks right there, just like that. Let's go ahead and blow them away so they don't knock out our team. And the objective's gonna be popping up pretty soon. There we go. When you get these little globes, don't be greedy. Uh, who's down there? Just Zarya. It's four people up top, and wow, that tracer actually lived. And I have no mana now, but we will keep chasing this false dad, and hopefully we can get him. Yes, we did. Good job. 
Let's get this globe real quick. Get on this. Um, nobody's down here, so... Let's just fly down there. I think they're doing... Oh, crap. Yeah, I could, I could take this. I could take him, no problem. I could take a Uther, no problem. Let's bait them. Bait them into the attack. Oh, wow. Just gonna get on here real quick. Hopefully we can get it. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Yeah, we were a little outnumbered there. So, um... I think the best thing we can go for us is to group. Group, please. That's the best thing we can do. Uh, let's come up here with a Falstad. I'm perfectly fine with four people pushing our bottom fort. They are a little bit ahead on experience. And... There goes their false dead. Okay. And rotate bot. There's the stats real quick. I have a lot of siege damage. Oh, crap. Oh, that was close. That was real close. Get away from her. Mighty Gus can be very... It, it can be... It, it has more than one use. Offensive or defensive. I mean, there's it's just so many applications you can use. Uh, that tracer needs to be very careful. Yeah, I really, really need some mana. Or well, I, I I just need to need to regroup. Sorry, Reed. Nothing I could do there, buddy. Sorry. Mm -mm. Uh, group, please. We win. Get out of there. I said, okay. Well, when we don't group, that's when we fail. Please group. We win. It's that simple team. And we can take this Lily down, no problem. Yee! I'm dead. That was my first death. I got a little out of position with my gust. Sorry. Yep. And all we gotta do is group. That's all we need to do is group. Read. Please group. Stop feed. Thank you very much. And we can defend this, no problem. I mean, we, we did get, what, 40, 45%, something like that. All right. Uh, ye Since this is objective-wise, I'm kind of going to go with Thunderstrike. No, actually, that's it. Flow Rider. That was an activated a talent. I don't know what that Uther is thinking. Did get some kills there. Um, this just may be a good position for. No, it's not. Oh crap! That hurt. Those Zergs hurt. Those Zergs really hurt. I think our Rhaegar went. Did our Rhaegar go bloodlust? Interesting. Not something you see very often. Uh. Let's just rotate down here. Uh, boss. Oh, crap. They did not spot us. Yeah. Why not? Let's do boss. Don't want to stand in that stuff. I got Gust ready. I mean, their false dead doesn't. So, um, we can position them quite well. Now I'm taking boss damage, and we got it. Good job. Good job. No, I'm getting away from him. I don't want any part of that. And that false dead is really chasing. 
Not bad. I mean, we got we lost two, but we did get the boss. But I mean, there's so many applications that Mighty Gus can be used for. Um, I mean, they do have more kills. We did get kind of separated. Next object. Group up. All five. I'm just going to kind of push this real quick. Because that's what Falstead is good for doing. It's not a problem. And they probably will have Yeah, they, they have it before I could even get there. Uh, okay, I'll fly up here. You want to get this? Not a problem. I can definitely help with this. Okay, he's got that. Alright, all five. Alright, our Kerrigan has to be careful. What did I do that for? I, I totally misclicked. We we need to group. And we really need to group. Ooh, there goes the water dragon. That Lily is really something, isn't she? Ooh, that was a lot of damage they just took. And we are definitely gone now. That was a really bad gust on my part. I uh, totally meant to click something else. Feels bad, team. Um, at level 16, we want to do airy gust. Um, just be careful. Chaser can do it. I mean, they're they're just defending. Okay. Two levels ahead. I mean, we're... we. I, I think we can really do a team fight, but... A Rhaegar, I kind of wish he did not go Bloodlust. Um, just for the fact that they have two healers. Alright, let's just take this down real quick. I can help out with them. Uh, pretty much any second now. Alright, let's come in here. No, 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 no. I was trying to get in position. Oh, wow. It feels like I'm always taking damage. Oh, I know why. Because we don't have really all that good of healing. This is going to punish us towards the end of the game. <coughs> yeah. So they are now going to get the objective. But it's a quick match. Hey, it's it's a learning experience. And let's just defend. That's all we gotta do. We could actually come back from right here if they make make some mistakes. Let's go ahead and build our stacks up just by sending that in. Not a problem. Need to watch out for the zombie wall. Because it does hurt wide a bit. Let's go ahead and activate this on here. Send that in there. Oh, man. I'm getting so many stacks in here. Yeah, see? It's really going to punish us when we don't have a lot of healing towards the end of the game. And that's that's going to be a GG. Um, but as you can see, uh, never mind the get away from my core. Alert. But as you can see, it is quick match, and you give it all your best. Um, it sometimes depends on the build. And, you know, never, no matter what, just give it all your best. And you'll do just fine. But this is Falstead. I will do a, a kind of a, a go-over on what abilities you should choose for Falstead. <laughs> Frostitution got MVP. I, we also need to take kind of like a wow I'm surprised to get that I will give it to uh, I don't know there you go fault prostitution whatever um, but I will kind of go over the builds uh, there's not much flexibility when it comes to false dead the damage helps from the Henderlin Gust. Uh, here's a quick look at the stats. 
wow, we actually came out right on top. Most siege damage, most hero damage, and the most experience because of our mobility. Now, talent-wise, here is the build that I went with. Um, Hammerang, that's almost always been his build for the longest. Um, I went with Static Shield. I normally don't go with that, but because of Zarya and her shield, I wanted to do as much damage as possible. Uh, Boomerang, activate that. Uh, just to increase your damage, and wow, that false stat actually didn't go that. Um, but that's boomerang's almost always chosen. Mighty gust, and you know that's that's our ultimate. He went with this. Reason why I don't like that is because it's got a long cooldown, eats up a lot of mana, and it only does a little bit of damage. It's only a straight line. It's a long straight line, but it's very narrow. Um, Flow rider. You pretty much, your abilities just recharge faster as long as you're not taking damage. That Again, that's with your trait. Um, he went with deals, deals more damage with, with subsequent strikes, but because we went with Gathering Storm, that's where our damage was be able to, to stack up more because of our cooldowns as long as we're not taking damage. Airy Gust, it just reduces the activation of your trait from six seconds to three seconds and also increases your mobility at level 20 let's see yeah he did do more damage uh but but he had two healers well uh, let me see what that Rhaegar went with he went with okay very interesting very very interesting anyways um Level 20 false dad. Uh, one sec, brother. Uh, level 20, I typically go with re reduce the flight cooldown with using the epic mount. Uh, so you, like normally, you're, where is it? I can't really, wait, mount, there it is, 45 seconds. Your flight is 45 seconds, but level 20 epic mount, you get 25 seconds to use flight. So it's a lot faster. You can use flight a lot more often, and it also increases your speed when you're flying and also reduces the time needed to do uh, flight. Um, this right here just helps if you're going basic attack um, build. If you're going up against a Johanna and Artanis, depending on will, what build he goes with, or a a Lili, or just anything that, or especially, especially an Illidan. Anybody who just stops uh, basic attacks, um, don't choose that when going up against them because you're reducing your damage. Wind Tunnel can be very, very good for zoning. Like, we went up against that boss fight, and we could delay them for four seconds. Like, they are completely not coming into that zone whatsoever. And... I mean, this, this right here just does more damage. Uh, Flexibility-wise, we did want to go with Wingman, but that's on a laning, a laning map. Uh, this right here helps with your sustain, which we, now that I know what our Rhaegar build was going with, this is what we should have went. Uh, it just feels like the healing was a little lacking compared to what we're going up against team fights. Yes. They had two healers, uh, but it really, really needed an ancestral healing there. So if you feel like you don't have enough healing, or if you don't have a healer at all, hammer gains, great. Uh, otherwise, static shield does really great in getting some more damage out. This helps with your escape, but Falstad's mobility is already great enough. Mm. Level 7, Boomerang, of course, you already know how it goes. Uh, this right here increases the number of Lightning Rod strikes and its range by 25%. Um, now that I think about this, it would do really good for... It, it would do really good for an objective map like Braxis Holdout, the one we just came from. But this right here, Gathering Storm in-game, can do a really big number of damage especially synced in with boomerang secret weapon eh eh yeah 
I mean, these these two are good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Level 13, Giant Killer, really good up against tanks, especially like Cho'Gall stitches. Um, but Flow Rider re reduces your basic abilities. You just while Tailwind is active, you you get your abilities a lot faster. And Thunder Rod Strikes, it does more damage. Again, that ties in good if you want to go against, if you want to do a W build. Level 16, Barrel Roll, eh. If you know how to play False Dead, I don't really think doing your E is really all that worth building on. Uh, Airy Gust, you've already seen what we've done. That just helps us get our abilities back faster and also activate our trait. This right here helps with slow. If you got enemies that move around a lot, they're like a Vala. If you if you really want to take down a Vala, we've already discussed level 20, epic mount for the win. If you want to get some more damage out, Nexus Fury, and Call of the Wild Hammer. E even you know even wait no I'm sorry Wind Tunnel, really good for zoning. You know even if I did go for Henderland Blast. I don't even know if I would upgrade it just because of the cooldown that it has and you're only getting 25% more damage. You could probably get more damage out of that with Nexus Frenzy. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is Falstad. You can't win them all, but you can always give it your best. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.